up everybody? This is Austin coming at you again with another Fit Friday video. It's a beautiful Friday afternoon here in Grand Rapids and we are ready to get this party started. So today we are going to be practicing some jumping exercises. So, so far in this latest batch of videos that we've been doing, we've done running, we've done core, and now we're going to do jumping. Okay, we're going to show you a few exercises that you can do for jumping. Now, I'm going to say at the outset, if you have a jump rope, that might be helpful. Otherwise, you don't need a jump rope. To actually do the jump rope exercise, you won't necessarily need to have a jump rope, but it might be helpful. All right, just like we do every single Fit Friday, we always warm up. So we want to make sure that our legs are warmed up because jumping involves our legs. So we want to make sure that our legs are ready to go so that we can jump up into the air and side to side. So we're going to do a warm up exercise called a nutcracker, also called toy soldiers. So what we're going to do is we're going to stick one hand and one foot out at the same time. We're going to alternate. So it's going to look kind of like this. Imagine that you're a nutcracker, that you're a wooden figure. Imagine it's Christmas time, even though it's 90 degrees outside. And just put your arms and your legs out in front of you just like this. So if you need to pause the video and practice that real quick, go ahead. Otherwise, we're going to get started. All right, so we're going to do this for about 15 seconds. We are not going to count out loud. That way we can stay concentrated. But I will let you know when it's time to stop. All right, ready? Three, two, one, go! Okay, we'll end in five, four, three, two, and one. All right, real quick, we're also just going to do a toe touch. If you saw my running video, check that out for a more detailed description about our toe touch. But we're going to review it again for anybody that's new. All right, so for the toe touch, let's make sure that our knees are nice and straight, that we are bending forward, and that we are trying to touch our toes. We don't have to get all the way down to our toes. I can only go about halfway. But if you can make it all the way down to your toes without going like this, without bending your knees, that's what we'd like to see. And this time we will count together. Okay, and we're gonna do this for 15 seconds. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Excellent work. All right, real quick, we're just gonna do a little bit of a jog, just to help us get the wiggles out, help us get any kind of excess energy that's out of us, and also help loosen up our legs. So this is just gonna be a quick 30 second jog around like this. If you wanna wiggle side to side, and just kind of get that energy out you can. We're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. So again, we're just kind of wiggling it out. Ideally for this, you wanna jog in place, not around like we did during our interval exercise. All right, we will end in about 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Excellent, excellent work. All right, if you need to take a deep breath. Go ahead and do that. If you need to take a little bit of a break to get some water, or to do anything else that you might need to do, now would be a good time to do that. 
because we are going to get started with our jumping. So if you need to pause the video, take a break before we go into our jumping exercises, please feel free to do that. Okay, so we're going to get started with our jumping exercises. So the first jumping exercise that we're going to do is we're going to do something called a jumping jack. Okay, so the way I like to teach this to folks is you want to start with your hands at your sides and your feet together. Okay, this is what I call the eye position. Okay, so we're almost making a big eye or an uppercase I or the letter one when we stand like this. And then when we jump out, we make an X. And then we jump back in and jump back out. Okay, and we keep doing that. Okay, and when we go fast, it looks like this. Good, so we're gonna practice that for about 30 seconds, okay? If you need to go slower, that's okay. If you need to stop the timer and practice the technique, remembering to go from our I position to our X position, and then back to our I position, feel free to do that, okay? But we're gonna go as a group for about 30 seconds, okay? Here it comes. Ready, set, go! We're about halfway there, everybody. Keep up the good work. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everybody freeze. Pause the video if you need to. Feel free to take a deep breath if you need to. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So we're going to move into our next one. These are called line jumps. Okay, so just like in the jumping jack, you want to have your feet together, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to jump back and forth, okay? Pretend like there's a line in front of you that you have to jump over and backwards over, okay? So we're going to try to do this for 30 seconds, just like we did for our jumping jacks, all right? Here it comes. Ready? Ready? Set? Go back and forth, just like this. Pretend like there's an imaginary line that you're trying to jump over. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right, so the next one we're going to do is we're going to do something called the side to side line jump. So we just did back and forth. Now we're going to go side to side, okay? Cool. So just like there's an imaginary line in front of us, that we have to jump over and backward over. When we go side to side, there's an imaginary line that we have to jump side to side over. All right, so it's going to look more like this. Side to side. There we go. So we're going to try this for 30 seconds together. Okay, 30 seconds of our side to side. All right, here it comes. Ready, set, go. 
Try to jump over that imaginary line. Five, four, three, two, one. Excellent. Excellent. Cool, cool. All right. So the next one we're going to do is the jump rope. Okay, so I mentioned to you earlier that if you don't have a jump rope, like I am not very good at jumping rope. So I don't have one with me. So what you can do if you don't have a jump rope is you can stand about shoulder width apart or you can stand with your feet slightly closer together and then you can jump up into the air while you do arm circles at the same time. Okay, because that's going to give you the feeling of having a rope going around and then through you, under you. Okay, if you have a jump rope, feel free to try to use it. If you're not really comfortable with the jump rope yet though, it might be more useful for you to try the technique without the jump rope first. Okay? All right, so again, we're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. All right, so everybody get ready. All right, are we ready? Set, go! Again, I'm circling my arms while I'm jumping straight up and down. Remember to breathe, super important. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, so our last exercise that we're going to do before we cool down is something called a squat jump. Okay, so in a squat jump, we're gonna do our squat technique first, which means we're gonna stand shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend down, and then we're gonna jump up into the air. Okay, and fun fact, that jump squat that I just did, that is the first step to doing a burpee. So if you're just trying to learn how to do a burpee, the jump squat is a good place to start. All right, so remember, you wanna make sure that you squat down. Okay, try to keep that chest up. And then jump into the air. Good, good. All right, so we're gonna do 10 of these. And just like I did when we did our core exercises, if you've seen the core video, I am going to try to tell you when it's time to go down into our squat and when it's time to jump up into the air. If you need to go slower or if you need to pause the video and do it a little bit different, that is okay. All right? Cool. Here we go. Are we ready? I think we're ready. Here it comes. Ready? Down and up. One, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, halfway there, down, up, six, 
down, up, seven, down, up, eight, down, up, nine, one more, ready? Down, up, ten. Excellent work, everybody. All right, everybody, so we are going to cool down, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you a couple stretches that might be useful for you. So we're gonna try a couple new ones real quick before we get finished. All right, so the first one I'd like to show you is our quad stretch, okay? So in our quad stretch, what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be lifting one leg up into the air. Make sure that you've got a chair nearby to hang on to. This isn't like a single leg stand test. If you've ever done the single leg stand test with us, that's now what this is, okay? And sometimes it's easier to do this with our shoes off. Also a little bit more sanitary as well so that we don't have to touch the bottom of our shoes. And what we're gonna do is we're going to lift one foot up into the air. So just like this, and we're gonna grab onto the foot and then you should feel a stretch in your quadricep, okay, which is right above your knee, okay? So right as you're starting to go down from your knee or up from your knee, depending on how you think about it, towards your stomach, that is what we're stretching when we do this, okay? All right, let's count along with me. We're gonna go for 15 seconds, okay? Here it comes, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, let's switch to our other side. So it might be helpful to switch sides in terms of where you are and where your chair is. So now my left hand is on the chair. I put my foot up like this, I grab onto it, and then we go for 15 seconds. All right, so feel free to pause the video if you need to get into position. And here we go. Ready, set, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. All right, everybody. So there is one more way to stretch your hamstrings. If those are kind of bugging you and you feel like the toe touch isn't quite enough, there is another hamstring stretch, okay? And for this one, you're actually gonna have one leg out in front of the other, okay? So my left leg is behind me, and then all I'm doing is I am leaning my right leg in so that the knee is as straight as it can be. Okay, the left knee can be bent. It's almost like we're gonna lunge forward like that, but we're not going to. We're actually gonna keep that right hamstring straight, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and stretch that for 15 seconds. So be ready to count along with me, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Let's go to the other side now. This time our right leg is gonna be behind us. Okay, and our left leg is gonna be out in front of us. Okay, all right. So we're gonna to try to stretch that left hamstring, keep it as straight as you can. And we're gonna go for, oh, had to adjust myself a little bit there. We're gonna go for 15 seconds, just like we did before, ready? Set, one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. So just real quick, before we get finished, we're just going to do a quick breathing exercise. Okay? So I would like everybody to breathe in through their nose, raise your hands high up in the air, and come down to your toes. One more time, breathe in. And breathe out. All right, everybody, thank you so much for coming to this Fit Friday session. I hope you all had a lot of fun and hope you all learned something. Until next time, let's all be So Me Fit champions. So long, everybody.